All right, let's have a little chat about axle click. And this isn't uh, the sort of sound you hear from a CV joint. You know, you turn a corner here, repeated clicking sound as you turn, and maybe some other horrible noises that were coming out of my car. Um, but we want to talk about this uh, this issue you see. You see it with Teslas. You see it with all kinds of cars where people are complaining um, of a click when they accelerate and decelerate. Um, and it's typically not necessarily when you're braking, it's when you're actually pressing the accelerator to accelerate the car forward, or you're backing off and the regen braking is kicking in. And what's going on there, um, you can pretty clearly see with this, now th this is the joint that came out of this 2018 Leaf. Um, this car is 100,000 kilometers, so 60,000 miles. And um, you know, the, the technical service bulletin that's uh, out there to fix this, uh, and I would argue it's not a fix at all, is to basically um, apply grease to this surface here, which is basically this surface. The Nissan manual actually uh, tells you to apply uh, Molly Coat M77 to this surface, um, which then is gonna contact this surface. Now, that grease, uh, as far as I can see, the only thing it's gonna do is quiet this down. It's not gonna fix anything, and the issue uh, again, this is a, a part that I've uh, cleaned up and taken out. Uh, the wheel bearing's fine. The CV joint was done. But if you listen, the shaft in the spline, splined hub, this is the wheel bearing, which is what's, you know, your wheels mounted to. This axle's going through there. So you could grease these up. You can grease up these splines. That'll take up a gap for a while. Um, I suspect that the reason they put grease here is because when this is torqued down, um, and there's a nut that's basically pulling this assembly together. Um, there's a possibility that there's going to be some twist in this joint, even in the shaft. That lube would probably prevent that from wearing the, these two surfaces. And that's about the only reason I could see that you would want to lube that. Um, but this, uh, this particular unit, it, it's, it's interesting to note um, with these wheel bearings in particular, these are what's called a generation or third generation bearing. Um, in previous days, the bearing would be pressed uh, basically onto this hub. And then this whole entire assembly would be pressed into this, um, or would actually the, uh, it, it might actually be pressed into the, uh, the knuckle that's holding all the suspension together. Uh, this is a bolt on assembly, which is kind of nice uh, because you don't have to mess with bearings. It's important to note though, that the bearings are preloaded with a roll formed uh, tab here. So the bearings are all kind of loaded up in here. This thing is machined. Uh, there's a process to roll form, basically roll a bead over. And what it does is it contains the wheel bearing um, preloaded in here. So this, when you're with this type of bearing, when you are tightening the nut and pulling this piece together, you're really just compressing this, this uh, hub and this roll form together. And are you actually doing a whole lot of preloading? Probably not. Uh, all you're doing is basically reinforcing um, or stabilizing this, these two pieces together so there's no deformation of this roll form. In a, this is a driven bearing, but say if it was in the, in the back of this car, there's very likely the same kind of bearing. Um, or in the case of Tesla, they use a bolt-on wheel bearing. And this thing is just going to be bigger. There's a nice video out there. I'll post a link um, as to the difference. Uh, fella basically cut these in half. Um, but as far as uh, getting rid of a click, you know, you're not going to get rid of this play ever. Uh, you can torque this, it's going to help. You can grease it, it's going to help. But chances are the click's going to come back because the grease will get moved out. Definitely, if this nut is loose, you're going to hear this every time you accelerate or decelerate. Um, I just want to mention real quick too that I, you see people like, um, they'll put the nut on here and they'll hammer the crap out of this. I wouldn't do that. Uh, why? Because when you hammer on this, um, you're basically and it's stuck in the hub. You're basically running the risk of damaging the bearings that are in here by, you know, tap it. The Nissan service manual basically says, look, put a piece of wood on this and give it a couple of, you know, brisk wax. If it doesn't come off, do not try to do that. Um, they're basically saying use a puller like this. So what this is, is again, it's about a $20 Amazon part. I'll put a description of the link. This fits over um, and uses your wheel bolts. Well, I can actually kind of demonstrate it here. Just imagine that those are tight. As you tighten this um, 
sorry, as you tighten this piece here, that's going to push the axle shaft out. And when you're doing that, you're not going to be hammering on the bearing. So that is the right way to take a stuck because these will get stuck. Now, if you look at the new part, this is a new wheel, wheel bearing. It's a Timken assembly. This uh, old axle shaft just slides right in there, but there's still a bit of click. Um, I have a new axle shaft and we'll just grab that and we'll demonstrate uh, what the fit should be like. Uh, when you're fitting these two parts together and why this will probably always click. Old, original, you know, 100,000 kilometer uh, hub bearing and CV axle. Uh, let's get the new part and have a look at how they fit. So this is a new axle assembly. This happens to be a, a Nissan part. Unfortunately, uh, this is a 2018 Leaf behind me. It had a filled uh, CV joint. Why? Because this this single clip was loose and it had let over the 100,000 kilometers had let water into the joint and uh, created quite a, a mess. So the joint has failed super loud when you turn corners. And uh, the sad thing about this 2018, it's axle only and it's a dealer only part, at least right now. Um, but it is a, a nice way to illustrate the difference between this click, which will always click. Um, the 2018 only calls for uh, 90 foot pounds on this. And quite frankly, because of the way that this is roll formed, I really don't see an issue with torquing this to the later model spec for the 2019. Why? Because all these parts are the same as you go up for the 2018 and older Leafs. It's, uh, they're not the same parts. The wheel bearings the same though, exactly the same. So the later spec calls for 130 foot pounds. And honestly, that's what I will use on this car is a hundred and that's 128 or so foot pounds. Um, but if you look at the fit, on here, you see a big difference. Timken bearing, uh, and I have two of these, and by the way, they fit exactly the same. This is a factory, so a Nissan axle. Watch what happens here. So I slide this, and I've got, uh, I don't know, three quarters of an inch to go. There is no movement there, and quite frankly, if I push this hard enough, I won't, uh, yeah, I'll have a problem getting this off. So what do you see here? You see an interference fit, and most manufacturers of these shafts are very specific. Don't lubricate these. Why? And don't lubricate this. Now, in the rust belt, you're running a bit of a risk by not putting some anti-seize on there, uh, at least a light coat. But the reason they don't want you to lubricate these is because they don't want this, this play in that joint. This is supposed to be, and the, the factory Nissan manual tells you this, put it on like this, tighten the nut to suck them together. Um, and that's, by the way, why some of these are going to be hard to get apart because it's supposed to be an interference fit. And you might, you know, for 20 bucks or whatever these are, you might want to get one of these axle um, presses to take this unit apart if you're working on these cars. Um, so you can get this apart without hammering like crazy on this. Because again, when you hammer on this, if it's stuck in here and you hammer here, you're basically forcing this inner part through the bearings and it could cause some damage to the bearings. So the factory manual is pretty specific. Don't wail on that. So there you go, axle click versus CV axle noise. Um, it should give you a good idea of why it's happening and why to some degree it's not really fixable. Um, yes, you can put the molly coat like the call for, oops, my little, that's just a, the ABS uh, wheel speed sensor kind of rides right in here. I've just popped that piece off. It's probably not supposed to happen, but again, it's an old, I'm replacing the wheel bearing. Um, but yeah, this torquiness will definitely pull this together. And I think the Tesla spec calls for something like 200 foot pounds. It's definitely gonna help with a click, but don't be surprised. If you do hear the click, it's a pretty good sign that uh, excessive play is occurring or this nut needs to be torqued down properly. Um, and there you go. One of the other things, by the way, uh, Nissan provides a tool to help you hold this because if you're trying to put 200 foot pounds of torque on this and this axle shaft is going through into your transfer case, it's just a parking pole that's holding it. You're really not supposed to put 200 foot pounds of stress on a parking pole inside your transmission. If you break that, you're in for a very expensive repair. Um, so Nissan provides a tool that just bridges these. It's basically a bar that bridges the wheel studs. You see people putting a, a pry bar. Um, not a huge fan of going directly on the threads. It's obvious that the Nissan part rides on this non-threaded part. 
Um, and it's just a flat piece of bar stock that kind of, again, bridges these. So you can, you can basically hold this hub in place while you're tightening this. Now, being that this is a generation three uh, wheel bearing, let's go to the new one. And this is roll formed and the bearing is actually compressed in here. Unlike the old days, you could wreck a wheel bearing by basically loading up this hub. Um, my preference, honestly, if you're gonna put 200 foot pounds on this type of, uh, or if that's the torque for this nut, I would uh, put the tire on, pop the center cab, the decorative cap, and basically do this, lower the vehicle to the ground, put the tire on the ground. Um, and that's a nice safe way of holding this without damaging your parking pole. I have seen a few videos where people are torquing this without you know, at least getting somebody in to, because the, the brake rotor is normally here. If you have the brakes on, you get somebody in the car to press the brakes. That's another way you could do this in the air. Uh, I honestly can't see a single issue with torquing this with it on the ground with weight on it because again, the roll forming is pre-tensioning the bearing in there. It's not like you're gonna damage anything. So you could just uh, snug it up in the air, put it down on the ground and put your final torque on it. Um, so there you go. That's all I gotta say about axles and play. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did find this video helpful, I would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe and like the channel and uh, so I can continue producing content like this. Uh, I hope you found this useful.